Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to look at 15 apps you should definitely uninstall if you're running Android. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at some new adware apps which are appearing and have also actually been removed from the Google Play Store, but you may still have installed on your device. Now, these apps at the moment are rumored to be affecting over a million devices already. Most of these apps have had a fair few number of downloads and installs, and they actually end up hiding themselves from the user from your menu. So they don't actually appear in your app drawer. So as far as you're concerned, you've installed them and they either crashed on install or they're not compatible with your device. Now, one of the main things that comes up on this is the fact that the app isn't compatible with your device. So you think it's a failed installation, but the adware or the malware is installed on your device and still running in the background. So we're going to have a quick look on the Sophos website and that's news.sophos.com. So if you want to follow along with this, you can uh, go over to their site and bookmark it and keep up to date with all the latest goings on in security. But we're going to go through some of the applications, see what they are, see the names of them, and then you can check it on your own device. And then at the end of the video, we're going to go through on ways of actually removing these applications that have hidden or have disappeared from your screen so you can get rid of them and clean up your phone. So first of all, let's go over to the Sophos site and we'll give the apps a little introduction. Okay, so first of all, here we have the uh, Sophos news site. And as you can see, there's icon hiding Android adware and it's return into the play market. So basically these adware apps attempt to evade easy removal by literally hiding their app icons from users. So this was uh, dated from the 8th of October. It's now the 15th, so if you're watching this a little bit later on, then uh, it probably isn't uh, massively out of date, but certainly worth a look to see if you've been infected or possibly scammed by these apps. So going down through, this is a list of the 15 apps. So we'll go through them quickly. So we've got flash on calls, read QR code, image magic, generate elves, save expense, QR artifact, find your phone, scavenger, auto cutout pro, background cutout, photo background, image processing, background cut, auto cutout, and auto cutout 2019. Now these will be listed in the description of the video below so you can check them out for yourselves. Or again, you can go to news.sophos.com and take a look in more detail. But essentially what these apps do, when you install them, it comes up and the app displays a message that this app is incompatible with your device. So you think the app's crashed and because of the crash, you go back to the Play Store and go on looking for other apps, but these actually will reside on your device. So the apps actually have a clever way of actually deleting their own app from your app tray or screen or launcher, whatever you want to call it, and then hides its icon. So the icons actually then end up looking like generic system icons in your system setting. So if we scroll down through, you can see some of the applications here. So for instance, this one here, there's the genuine Play Store icon. And underneath it, we've got this one, Google Play Store, which is 958 megabytes, which is uh, considerably smaller than the 106 megabytes the original or the uh, legitimate Google Play Store app would be. And also it can hide as other things like update or backup or time zone service. So these are the ones you actually want to look at. So now we're going to go over to the phone and I'll show you how to actually spot these apps and how to remove them. Okay, so on your Android device, uh, go to settings. So however you need to do that. So this is just hitting the settings cog. And from there, then you can go into uh, apps and notifications. And then you can choose to see all apps. Your layout may be slightly different, so you might need to go around this slightly differently, but this is the general guide of how to do it. So if you look down through, you'll see various apps. So there's system apps. So say for instance, carrier services. Now you go into that and you can see on the screen, you've got the option for disable or force sorry, force stop. So if your app has got disable and force stop, that means it's a system app and you don't need to do anything with it. But if you go into your app and let's say, let's look at one of the uh, one of the more genuine ones. So if we go down to Surfer, for, exam for example, as you can see now on the screen, you've got the option for force stop and uninstall. So if you've got an app on your phone, which looks like a genuine system application or setting 
and it's got a generic kind of Android logo or a cog or like anything you've seen on the screen previously, then what you can do is click on force stop first of all, and then click on uninstall. Now, if it's a genuine system app, you won't be able to uninstall it. You may be able to stop it, but you won't be able to uninstall it. So this is one way of finding out if the app is actually genuine or not. So hopefully this information has been useful to you. If it has, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe and also the chime icon if you want to be notified of more future video releases like this. If you've got any comments or questions, you can stick them in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.